hi, my name is Yana, and you're watching Finnish Knitting Stories. And you probably already guessed what's gonna happen today. Yes, it's that time of the year. The whip episode. <laughs> the whip episode is happening now. It's end of February 2024. I'm here on the floor. On the floor in my craft room, same place I was last year. And we will be going through all my whips. You... I will mention now that you can find me on Instagram as Kittenitz and on Ravelry as Kittenitz and on Ko-fi and Patreon as Finnish Knitting Stories. And this is not a regular episode. This is the whip episode, whip special. And I need Clucky for this. <laughs> this is Cluck Norris, aka Clucky, my emotional support chicken. And she will be supporting me through this process because I started pulling whips out of different places in my house in our house here and i keep i keep whips all over the house even in my car and in my handbag and there were whips everywhere i went all over collected them brought them here and it looks terrifying i'm telling you it's it's way more than i thought i have and i'm afraid it's more than i had last year i think i've been bad <laughs> Sorry, choking on my drool. Too exciting. <laughs> but we luckily we don't judge here. We just count here. <laughs> so we will go together through everything. I do not have notes because that's how I prefer, prefer it. If I don't remember the name I, or the designer, I will put it on a screen. You will see everything on a screen. And I will link the patterns that I talk about in the description box down below. There you like hit more and it will open up for you. But I hope my memory is not yet that, that bad that I wouldn't remember. Maybe something. Maybe something I don't remember. But I will try to do my best and remember everything. I'm looking around me. It's a mess. And I'm sitting on the floor. And surrounded. I feel... <laughs> yes, but this is good. It gives me motivation to work on something. Or maybe even frog something. I have done my share of frogging after the previous two whip episodes last year and the year before go check them out if you haven't yet uh and maybe this year i could i could take something else down <laughs> i could rip something else out or maybe finish maybe this would be this is the butt kick that i need to finish some older whips right right okay can you guess how many i have i don't remember how many i had last year this many i had last year around let's guess more or less do i have more than that or less because i have no idea i will find it out with you okay clucky is here you, you you will be here to support me go on the chair can you still see her she's there she will be supporting me and let's dig in i will just be picking stuff up and looking in the bag and <laughs> live reactions <laughs> okay i don't know let's go with this one uh, the bag is by Bertie and Poppet. No surprise there. Most of the bags will be by Bertie and Poppet. Not all, but most. What's in here? Okay. It's a sweater. That is not on the needles. <laughs> I have even ripped the needles out. It's a Rai Rai sweater. No, there is a cable. I just took the needles off and now the stitches are escaping. Uh, I showed this sweater last year and it's exactly in the same spot as it was last year. The pattern is Rai Rai by Leni Hoimela. If you're looking for a good round yoke pattern, I can recommend this. It fits very well. It doesn't bunch up. It has good increase rate. I have knit a few. It's all wrinkly. And it's a in a lovely Finnish wool. One of my favorite Finnish wools. It's in Yolo Villa Vuona. In three different colors. I was there striping something. And I'm not sure. Do I finish it or do I frog? I had very strong intentions of finishing it. But I haven't worked on it. But I don't want to. I don't want to frog it. Here I'll show you the colors. Those are three <laughs> colors that I'm working on. I'm quite far from the camera. Because I have a lot of stuff here. And this is not a big room, so I... <laughs> it's it's my only way to fit everything in. Okay, so still maybe finish? Maybe? Let's see. Let's put it in a finish pile. 
I love the bag, by the way. It has foxes on it. I forgot to mention what I'm wearing. I know you will be asking. Uh, this is Kvitka Svoncha by Olga Putano. And I knit it last year. And it's in late loppy. And I usually wear it outside. But it's quite chilly here. And I'm sitting on the floor. I'm sitting on a felted, <laughs> a felted pad here. And yeah. Okay. Finish will go there. Frog will go there. I don't think I have anything I want to frog here, but we will see. Okay, let's do the next one. <laughs> Again, lovely fox bag. Guess by whom? By Bertie and Poppet. <laughs> and here I have a pair of socks. I have a pair of socks that I started working on. It's actually just one sock at the moment. Uh, and it is... Um, the, the Flowers, what flowers? Pressed flowers. Uh, pressed flowers by blacking out on the name. Give me a moment. By pressed flowers sock. I only have one, but do you see that stripe? That's the dark stripe. That's where the heel goes. And I was actually, I was quite excited about them, but I couldn't cast the other one on because I'm knitting from a ball. I would need to rewind the ball into a center pole because I can't find the other end. So I couldn't start the other sock and I love knitting my socks concurrently. Uh, so I will, I will keep going on these. And they are lovely. They are lovely. Those, those are going into finish it pile. Okay, next. Lovely bag by Antler and Acorn. I'm not sure if they make bags anymore, but they used to. And they were lovely. And this has a pair of Christmas socks for my husband. That has been there forever. Forever. It's a mess because two yarns are attached. And I stopped because one sock has more stitches than the other. I don't know how I did that, but here they are. So one needs to be ripped out and re-knit. I, I need him to try them on to check which one actually fits better. I would say that this one, but don't ask me how I did that. It was December. I was tired and I have two different socks. It happens sometimes, but... Hopefully finish. Or maybe frog. Maybe I'll rip them out. Anyways, they need to be fixed. Okay, let's put them for now in the finish pile. <laughs> Next. This kind of lovely bag by uh, Nova Melina. It was a finish maker. It still is a finish maker, but I don't think she makes project bags anymore. In a beautiful William Morris fabric. And what's in there? Oh, oh! it was supposed to be a mohair sweater. Was supposed to be. Uh, that never happened. I have pulled the, the needles out. There is still a cable, but no needles. I don't know what's happening. I think I'm just gonna rip it out because I have no clue what's happening here. And I started it, and it wasn't as enjoyable as I envisioned it, and I think I'm just going to rip it out. It was by... Mid was it by Midori Hirose? You see it on a screen. <laughs> Let's put it in a frog pile for now, because anyway, even if I decide to knit it again, I think I will start... I will start from scratch because because I have no idea what I'm doing and where where am I and what's happening. Okay, that's going into frog pile. There. Next. Uh, next in a floral bag with some fluff attached to it. Um, a shawl. Shawl by by Ines Sang. It's a free pattern, by the way. It's Megla shawl. It's a lovely shawl, but I never got I never got to finishing it. I don't know why. I don't know why. Actually, I know exactly why, because I'm knitting it on 3mm needles. And it's too small for, for me, for a shawl. And I'm this far along, and I don't know. It's been on my needles forever. It's absolutely lovely, and I'm kind of here. I don't know. Do I rip it out? Or do I, do I keep going? 
It's a beautiful shawl, and this is in Finnish sheep wool. My own hand dyed, and I love the yarn, I love the shawl. What do you say? Please vote. <laughs> Let me know. Rip it or keep it, Migla, by Inessa Sang. Yeah, the three millimeter needles are not making me happy. I don't know why I'm knitting on so small needles. I think because the pattern suggested, I think, maybe, to get the gauge. It is quite dense fabric, but I don't know. So undecided. We will make third pile there. That's undecided. Because I don't know. It's been on the needles forever and it's not moving forward, unfortunately. Okay, next. <laughs> Guess what? Pattern, summer pattern from last year. Uh, this is by Vera Velimaki from the book Stripes. And I'm here because I had to I had to take back for some reason. I don't remember. I did something. I think I picked up the wrong needles. It has been further along. And then I borrowed needles from it and then I put in wrong size of needles and I knit quite a bunch of it and then I had to take it back because you could see difference in the gauge. <laughs> I'm usually very good at mark the needle size somewhere on a paper and put it in a bag if I'm borrowing needles. But I was in a hurry, I think I was going somewhere and yeah. So here we are, and this is going to be finished because I want this piece. It's in my own hand-dyed merino tweed. I love the colors. It's just... haven't had time to finish it. it. It will be beautiful, very loose, very loose summer top. And I'm like halfway through with it. Would have been done with it if I would not have messed up. But okay. This one is going into finish pile. And it's in my garden tea bag by... what is that? That's <laughs> biscuit crumbs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> garden tea. We were having tea in the garden with biscuits and I found some biscuit crumbs on a bag. <laughs> okay, <laughs> my birthday and puppet. <laughs> uh, not the biscuit crumbs, the bag, the bag. Okay, let's take something recent that I'm still... This is an active whip. If you watched the previous episode, you know what's in here. In here is a Polsden scarf by Amy Loudon. And here we are. I finished this color and I'm I'm going. This is very, very long scarf. And bag was made by my friend. And this is an active whip, so goes there. Okay. That pile is growing. Um next. Next. Also active whip. This this one I brought from the car. <laughs> This one I brought from the car because it's a half and half triangles wrap. But I can't feel my legs. Oh, I was sitting on my legs to be a bit taller. But <laughs> half and half triangles wrap by Pearl Soho. And I'm knitting it in linen quill, which I'm enjoying very, very much. And this is my like long-term project because it's my travel project. It's getting a bit large for a travel project. I'm already on a second color. This much into a second color and we'll definitely be finishing it. I'm just not in a hurry with it. Um, and a lovely bag by a knitter suitcase all the way from Australia. And yes, I love it and I'm working on it and it's my mindless socializing project or waiting room project or yeah, or waiting in a car project when picking up kids from somewhere. So, okay, there, finish it. <sighs> Emotional support break. <laughs> it's good, it's good. <laughs> Thank you, Clucky. You're lovely as always. Stay. <laughs> Not a dog, but still. Okay, this is an older whip that I have recently picked up and worked on it a little bit. Lovely linen bag by Knitter Bag from Lithuania. And it's my No Frills Cardigan by Petite Knit that I'm knitting in one yarn is my hand dyed and another one is Drops Kid Silk. I don't remember the color name and do I have a ball band? I might have a ball band, just in case. Maybe color 40, I think it was, yeah. I think it was color number 40. And my own is called Oyster and I'm keeping holding those two together and I've been knitting on it a little bit here and there 
And it's actually, it's going to be a lovely cardigan. This is going into finish pile. I've recently picked it up. And I add a row here and there. And yes, there. Okay. I have, I can see the floor in front of me. That's good news, right? <laughs> let's take, oh, let's take something exciting. Let's take something exciting. Something exciting. Can you guess what's in there? There's a hint. It's from this book. And it's my birthday cast on. It's been hibernating because, but I'm picking it up again because I got more of this yarn. I got more of this yarn. Uh, I'm work I was working on a sleeve actually, and I have borrowed the needle tips. Whoop. The body. I cast off the body. And I did. I did. And I have had this idea that, yeah, I'm doing the sleeves now. I was doing the sleeves now. And I tried it on and I was like, I really love it. I love the yoke. I love everything. I love the design. I love the yarn. I love my colors. But I was like, I wear a lot of dresses. Can I wear this on top of the dress? And I tried it, I, I tried to, I tried it on with several dresses and it was like, something wasn't right. And I was like, 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 I'm sorry, I'm talking like a teenager. <laughs> My brain is, has been in a rest mode. So I was thinking, I want this to be a dress. I don't want to wear it on top of anything else. And I managed, I went on the dyer's web, web page. The dyer is... The dyer is the Uncommon Thread from the UK. And they had two skeins of this more in their store. It was expensive. <laughs> it was expensive. I sucked it up and I ordered them. And I'm going to turn this into a dress. Because that's what I want. <laughs> and that's what's going to happen. And now I will I will actually put it into rotation for my active whips. Something is cl clinging. Do I have a knitting ring there somewhere? Can you hear that? Is it my knitting ring or is it stitch markers? Anyways, I don't know. But yeah, that one. <laughs> that's happening. I'll put it there. Oh, that pile is growing. The finished pile is growing. Okay, next. <laughs> this is also a very noisy bag. This is uh, my very old um, French supply bag. They don't make bags anymore. Uh, and it has all my knitting pins on it. I have no idea what I have here. Oh, I have a pair of socks that I have already pulled off the needles. Uh, because they were my travel socks. I don't know why I pulled them off the needles. I started them last summer, probably. <laughs> and I have pulled them off the needles. And I don't know why, because they kind of look nice. I want to finish them. I have no answers. What was I thinking? Because they look fun. I would like to finish these. Maybe I could do shorties. Like if I start heel now, maybe. That should be fine, right? Yes, let's let's put them in a finish pile. Want to see my pins? Want to see my pin collection? That's that's a very. I usually when I go somewhere, I I sometimes buy yarn as a souvenir. But if they have pins, I buy myself a pin. So I have pins from many different places here. If I visit somewhere, I like picking up a pin. And this used to be in a quite heavy use. This bag all the time with me and now it's been just sitting on a shelf I don't know why maybe because it's become a bit heavy <laughs> because of all the pins on it but yes I'll throw it in a finish finish pile okay something Christmassy what's in here oh I know I know what's in here my husband's elf hat Christmas elf hat for my husband because I finished hats for the kids but not for my husband I started he was actually wearing my hat throughout December and I was just wearing a regular red uh, wool and mohair hat and that's all right but for next for next season yes he will get his own 
his own elf hat. So that's a finish. And there is a very festive bag with nutcrackers on it there. Oh, okay. Oh, this is exciting. It has outgrown the bag, but this is exciting. And I want to work on it. And I don't know why I stopped. I have no idea why I stopped. This is uh, out, out, outside. Was it outside? You see it on a screen. It was my scrappy mohair project. And I actually frogged another, I frogged another cardigan to reuse this thin gray wool by Erica Knight, wool local. I'm using one strand of that. And then I'm holding all my, <laughs> I'll show you, all my random mohair bits and leftovers with that one strand of grey wool. And this is like a cocoon cardigan. It was supposed to be very nice. It has a texture. I think, yeah, this is the right side. Look at that. And I'm just, I'm just striping in the mohairs. Not stripe, just... Not even fading it. You know, I'm just joining new one whenever old one is done. I'm just joining next little bit. I have all kind of little leftovers from the previous projects. Even this small. Everything goes in this. And then I want to... Oh, I want to work on this. This is lovely, isn't it? It's neon -y, but very subtle. Because it's blended with the grey. And then the halo. Then you just get neon -y halo. Oh, this is lovely. I forgot about it, honestly. I have so many, I forgot about it. And the bag was made by my friend Birgit. It was a birthday gift. Hi, if you're watching. Okay, F finish. Yeah, work on it. Work on it. <laughs> okay, I have a new whip. I have a new whip. <laughs> there. I got yarn as a gift. Uh, was it last year or was it already this year? Anyways, I got the yarn as a gift. There is the yarn. And you will see, um, I, I, I cast on a pair of socks. Just one for now. These two lovely colors were made for me. Uh, and I cast on the Swiss Swiss Dot Shorties by... By... I... By Nancy Wheeler of Knit Sip Happy. Uh, because she's having a knit along and I wanted to join. And she had discount on her patterns and I've been eyeing this pattern. And I bought it and I cast them on because I needed a bit of travel knitting. Uh, yeah, last weekend we were visiting in-laws and I needed a bit of travel knitting. So I cast on a little sock. <laughs> I'm not far along, but there they are. Just one. And they are shorties. And I will put them into the finish pile. Of course. Yes. There it goes. Okay. Next one. Continuing with the theme of new cast-ons. Uh, some of you have already seen this. And most of you have not. <laughs> but. Um, last weekend. Last Friday. I cast on a dress. I was talking about it and I cast it on and here it is. I'm not going to talk much about it. I'm knitting myself a boucle dress using a free sweater pattern as a, as a template. And we will talk about this in the next episode. So no more about this. <laughs> I'm working on a dress. <laughs> because why not? I, I need whatever I want. <laughs> um, because it's a fun hobby. Okay, finish it. Finish it. And the bag is a winter bag by Hohi and Co. Beautiful. Uh, finish it. There. Okay, let's take something older. Uh, this has been on my needles. This is the third version of uh, uh, Kappa Shawl by Vera Velimaki. <laughs> I have finished one long time ago, long, long, long time ago. I have made one. This is my second one that I actually wanted, yeah, in a different yarn. My first one was in merino, so it wasn't fluffy. And I wanted it in alpaca, so I cast it on and I started. And it's in Isiger alpaca one. And I wasn't 
I was undecided on my colors. I have one color too many here. And it was supposed to be my fun travel project, but it's on so small needles that it's quite fiddly in the car. I have even pulled the needles out. It was on 3mm, I think, or on 275, and I have it just on the cables. And I don't know, am I ever going to knit it? <laughs> it's a start. Let's put it in a maybe pile. I don't know. I don't have the first one. I have gifted it to a friend, or actually a friend of a friend. Because they weren't really my colors. I'm not sure do we even have a picture. It has been years. I knit the first one way before I was even documenting all my all my knitting things. If I find a picture, I'll put it in. But probably not. Uh, I don't know. This is a strong. Strong maybe. I'll put it in undecided. There. Uh, oh. <laughs> okay, next one. This is a makeup bag with a moomin, but it's cute, and I had the matching socks living there. And I'm ripping them out already. One is, yeah. <laughs> this one is cuff down, this one was toe up, and I don't know, I was experimenting. It has a cute, cute leafy pattern. They are not even matching. I was doing something with this faded yarn and I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna rip these out because I have I'm not I have no interest in finishing them. So that goes into a frog pile. <laughs> Very loud. Okay. Next another active whip in a lovely fox tote, which was a gift from a friend. <laughs> Hi dear. And it's an active whip, because it, it outgrew the other bag. Or actually, I put another... This, I'm talking to myself here. It's my, it's my, it's my, it's my Umma Cape by Egyo Knits. I've been working on it on a weekend, just a little bit. You you just saw it last... Last weekend, on the, on the regular episode, and it's there. So I'm not gonna talk a bit about it much. I'll just put it in a bag and keep working on it. It's an active whip. So there. Next. Next. Uh, here we are. This is one of my newest bags. It's, it is my newest bag by Bertie and Puppet. And again, William Morris fabric. And here I put in two giant balls of nudity. <laughs> and my uh, my anchors sweater by Petite Knit that I have ripped out already twice because it was not fitting well. It was not fitting well. And I've, I have actually almost finished it already. Then I ran out of yarn. It was too big in the, in the bust here around and it wasn't looking good. So I ripped out the whole thing. Uh, this is my third attempt of knitting it. I've been working on it, but it's... It, I don't know. I'm not feeling it. It's not very inspiring. I do love the yarn. I do love the yarn. It's in Önska. I have knit anchors many, many times, but here I'm knitting it in knitted and held dub... double? Yes. Yes, held double. And I'm really in love with this yarn, and I would want this sweater, but I'm somehow... I don't feel like working on it. I don't know why, but I sh probably should. I probably should, right? I should finish it. I could even leave it as a short sleeve if I don't feel like doing the sleeves. Anyways, yeah, finish, finish pile, definitely finish pile because uh, I want the sweater for the yarn. <laughs> I love that color. Okay, that is a really big pile. Oh, and I can't feel my legs again. I don't know, can't, can't sit on my legs. Okay, a bit of crunching coming up. Very fancy project bag. <laughs> paper bag. Um, I have bags, but it has yarn in it. It has Yellow Villa Uhi that I bought from Yuvaskula a couple of years ago. And I started a cardigan, and this is Kannolla cardigan by by Tina Hochtaniemi from Titi2, and I got this far, and I don't know why I stopped. I think I stopped because I needed to put in pockets or change the color. And I was too lazy to kick up yarn and I switched to something else. But I should finish it. I'm quite far along. I'm like probably... I think more than third 
done with the body. It's a big, it's a big, nice cardigan, and it would be very, very handy around the house or in the yard, or maybe good neutral, good neutral. I should finish it. So I'll put it there, but it's actually going there. I ran out of space there. So finish it, finish it. Okay. I am, I'm arranging here. I have blankets also. You remember blankets don't count as whips, right? So I have, yeah. But let's do non-blankets non, non first and then blankets last because, because we don't count them. Okay, my coat. My book lay coat. A lot of you have been asking about it and it's here. It's here sitting in this basket because I have not worked on it because it's hurting my hands. This is going to be fabulous once I once I have strength to finish it or actually even work on it. So yeah, this is definitely a finish. Finish it pile, but maybe we will leave it for the next season or maybe 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 <laughs> bit by bit we will be working on it. Okay, what else I have here? I have here another thing that I pulled out of the deep deep hibernation. Because I mentioned my husband's birthday is coming up and he wants a Star Wars sweater and I had one on my needles that had some fit issues. It's it's this one. It's this one. I started it years and years and years ago. I had way less experience back then in garment making and in color work. So the color work is not the greatest. I don't really like how it fits on him, but he tried it on and said, it's fine, just finish it, he will wear it. So I'm working on it. And it's also on three millimeter needles. And he's a tall guy, so it's taking me forever. I have added probably about five centimeters to the body of it in a last weekend. Last weekend, I pulled it out and I've been working on it. Yeah, it, it has stormtroopers on it, and I don't know. <laughs> I'm still doubty. It has... Uh, I messed something up. Color work isn't even tight. It has a good give, but this neck is standing up because I think I added short rows there. Or I did something. I did something odd there. So the neck is a bit like a... Not really a turtleneck, but it is up. Which is quite nice because then, then he doesn't need his cowl. So I'm I've been working on it and I'm trying to finish it in time for his birthday, which is end of next month. I'm not sure if I will be able to, but I will try. So, finish it. Okay, then I have, I have this. This is the basket that sits next to my knitting chair and it has some of the, my oldest whips in it that I haven't worked on since last... No, not last year. I showed them last year to you and I haven't touched them since. So I've been... I'm sometimes thinking, should I just frog everything in it? But then again, should I just finish maybe something? Let's, let's, let's take a look. What's in here? What's in here? Because I honestly don't remember what's in here. Oh, something is losing fluff. Is this bag losing fluff? Can a, <laughs> can a cotton bag deteriorate? It's leaving white fluff on me. Okay. Uh, it's a shawl, I guess. In a goat fiber, I guess. I'm in the middle of the row still. I think I'm going to frog this. I, uh, I'm not going to finish it. It's a, just a triangular shawl. I was knitting these and I'm not a huge fan of this. And it's a nice yarn. It's a hand spun. Yeah, frog. Frog. I have no interest in finishing it. Okay. I can knit something else with that lovely yarn. Next. What's in here? Oh, and here is nothing. It's just a bag. And here was this little, <laughs> little, I don't know, cowl that I knit in my handspun. And I wanted to frog it too, to reuse the yarn for something nicer. It's not even, it's not even finished. I don't know. I just wanted this yarn back. It was one of my first handspun merinos. 
not the very first one, but one of the first, and it was a lovely color. I actually need Sophia a hat in this color. And then I wanted the cowl, but it I didn't have enough yarn, so it came out too small. It's It was too tight. It was too weirdly tight. Too weirdly tight. That makes... <laughs> it was weird and tight, and yeah. Okay, but... Frog. Frog. Oh, I found some stitch markers. And some tin with something in it. Is it can is it mints or stitch markers? Oh this one is still mints. I found mints. I buy these because I want tins and there are mints inside and I need to eat the mints first. Okay um throw it and reuse the yarn for something nice. Okay the next one I know what's in here. This is my Pluto Lopis shawl by Melody Hoffman from the Liner magazine. And I started it and I don't know. I really, really wanted it and it was a good idea, but somehow I was not enjoying the process of knitting it. Because I couldn't really see the lace properly. I'm not sure is my lace messed up or what's happening, but it's a lovely shawl and it's faded and maybe I don't want to frog it. Because it will it will be just little bits of yarn because it's faded there. Look. I was fading the yarn and chopping the yarn and attaching the yarn. And it wouldn't be hard to finish. Let's put it in a maybe. Let's put it in a maybe. If I would have a cat, I would make a cat that... There's something else in here. What are you? Oh, this is a frog. <laughs> this is definitely a frog. It's a boucle triangular shawl. Like a Bactus uh, shawl scarf thing from a million years ago. <laughs> so this this is frog. And this is maybe. And I don't know. Okay, let's just... There is one more thing in there. I don't know. It's been on my needles forever. Let's put it in frog. Uh, and now this one. This one. This one, I don't know what to do with it. It's by Andrea Maury. It's a shift sweater. Shift? Shifty? The sweater one. The, 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 the sweater one. The sweater from that. From those series. And I'm here. And I don't know. I love the colors. I love the pattern. I don't know why I'm not working on it. I can't explain. And why I put it aside. I can't explain. I don't know. I was just not feeling it. But I kind of would love the sweater. I love my colors. It's in zebra highland wool. So it's like wooly wooly. It's a non-super wash and very nice and... I would love I would love it as a home sweater even. I have nice exciting colors here coming up. Look at these. Should I try? Should I give it a go? Let's do that. If I can figure out where where I am. Where I am at the, in this. I should I should give it a go in spring. And beautiful bag by Bertie and Poppet. I want this bag free for another project. Yay. And here is the more yarn for it. Okay, that's empty. That's finish. I will show you one more sweater and then only blankets left. Oh, <laughs> Metsa cookie. Metsa cookie sweater. And it's actually... It's only missing sleeves. <laughs> I love this thing. But I can't gather myself to do the sleeves on it. It's this giant long... I started weaving in the ends on this. Look, I finished the neck. I'm somewhere halfway through weaving in the ends. And that was that was killing my soul. <laughs> uh, and it's a superwash yarn, so I can't even just leave them and felt them. Because this won't felt. I'm knitting it in Drops Charisma. Drops Charisma. And... Something is itching my nose. It's kind of a vest. <laughs> it's a slipover. It's a very long slipover. But I want this to be a sweater. 
In worst case, I could just do sleeves in a single color, but no, it's not worth it. It's I they they need to be in a color work because the sleeves are full color work. And I was thinking, yes, I will I will like weave in the ends and then I will pick up the sleeves, but I have not woven in the ends. But I'm not giving up on this. This is my very very long-term project. It's lovely. I absolutely love this piece. Vasirka Tönönen, I did not mention it. Uh I love this. I want it. I just don't want to work on it. <laughs> but yeah. Yes. Finish it. Finish it. Okay. And now we only have blankets left. I have one, two, three, four, five. Only five? Really? I thought I had more than five blankets going. I'm surprised. Let's start with, uh, with a knitted one. Let's start with a knitted one. Lovely bag by Birkin Poppet. It's just a garter stitch blanket that I started when when the war started. It was my comfort blanket. A friend of mine sent me yarn and I just started knitting garter blanket and I didn't finish. I actually could finish at any moment, but I have a lot of yarn left and I, I was fading it and I pulled the needles. Here. Here. It is. No, it's not long enough. It's not even half of a blanket. Uh, I don't know. Really like it, but it feels, feels heavy. A lot of sorrows are knit into this blanket. I wanted to knit it and maybe donate it, gift it to someone. I don't know. We will see. Should I just pull it out? Oh, I don't know. If you're looking for a good garter blanket pattern, uh, Stephen West has a garter squish, I think. It's a free one. But I don't know. Do you even need a pattern for a garter blanket? Because you just you just need... You just need... And I was slipping the edge stitches. And I'm holding the... The little minis with a with, with, uh, strand of white undyed mohair. I don't know. This feels, this feels heavy. I don't know what to do with it. Should I just work on it? Or should I take it out? Or maybe do something else with the yarn? Let me know what do you think. Oh, I don't know. This one. This one. Should not have picked it up. I will put it in a maybe pile because I don't know. I haven't worked on it in in a year or so, or probably more. Okay, next one is is by K of Bakery Bears. K, what's her surname? I don't remember. Very bad. K of Jones, is it? You can see it on the screen. It's the have a yarn tangle i'm sorry it's the <laughs> the jelly roll the jelly roll that i also have started three different times <laughs> this is no or two two different times anyway this is my second or third version of jelly roll and i'm knitting mine in dk and i'm kind of using same colored yarns in the stripe like you can see first one was pink second one was like reds and darker pinks then orange then yellow and kind of a bit of a rainbow theme going on and i'm here I work on it from time to time when I have yarn, when I have yarn left over in the right color. I add a bit to it. I recently just added a bit of yellow because I was, I found some yellow in my stash. And here it is. I can't say that I'm too excited about it, but I don't know. Also don't know. Kind of sometimes work on it. No, I'll let it be. <laughs> it's just sitting there. It's just sitting there. Um... I'll show you the other one that I'm a bit more excited by the same designer and it's Bits and Bobs. And this one is all the time sitting in the living room and I add a row here and there. And this one eats everything. It's Bits and Bobs. It's big and have heavy and it's quite long already. It's a good size blanket. I don't know, maybe half meter or more and I could finish it. So 
this just eats all the leftovers. It's nice, it's not squishy and heavy, and this is like kind of semi-active lip. It's always there in the living room, and whenever I feel like I, I add a row or two, like a very long-term project, and it just eats all kind of random, random bits and leftovers and like whatever, whatever goes is the rule for that blanket. Okay, and now I have two crochet blankets left to show you. One is also semi-active, but absolutely not exciting. I don't know. I'm struggling with this. I love the stitch. I don't love the yarn. <laughs> and I can't help myself. Where was the top? Here is the top. It's the spiked granny stripe blanket. It has grown quite a bit and I just want it a bit bigger that I could put it in my car. And I'm knitting it in Novita Seven Brothers, Seitemann Veljesta. I'm just trying to get rid of that yarn because I had quite a lot of it from good old times. <laughs> so I have a bag. I have a bag full of it still. Here's probably around a kilo left of random balls. Sock leftovers and full balls and... Yeah, so this one, I work on it sometimes, but not too actively, because it's, honestly, it's not very exciting. Uh, and the last one for today is exciting, and I will be picking it up again, because it's my spring-summer project. It's my Battenberg blanket, my crochet, beautiful Battenberg blanket. Look, I've been adding yarns to this. And I have a box of finished squares there. Uh, <laughs> I have more there. And I will show you where I'm at. It's quite big. There are more squares and more yarn. It's, it has some good size. I, I, I already like shaped the corner and I started going all the directions. There we are, and then it still goes down quite a bit. It's a good size. It's probably, I don't know, one-fifth maybe is done. Maybe a quarter. I need to count. I don't know. I need to measure it. But it's it's good. It's good. It's covering one corner of the bed, <laughs> if you look at it that way. And I'm just slowly working on it. Not in a hurry with this one. Really, really enjoying the process. And it lives in, in this bag, also made by my friend Birgit. Okay, I'll put it away. Ooh, yellow! <laughs> I could make a couple of squares and then add it to jelly roll. Yellow, yay! Okay, so... Is this really it? I think this is it. I think I have shown you everything that I brought. If you remember a project and you don't see it here, let me know. It could be that it's already frogged or finished, but let me know. Did I forget something somewhere? Last time I did. Last time I forgot my, I think, car project. <laughs> uh, but hopefully I didn't forget anything this time. And those are really all my... Whoops, I'm looking around. Sorry. So, let me know what do you think. I didn't count them, but I will. So, ready for the final number? I have this many. Before, before frogging those that are on a chopping block. And, oh, <laughs> I should probably get a little chair for next time. I can't feel my legs. I've been sitting on them. And, yeah, this was fun, wasn't it? We counted my whips. We looked through all of them. I will probably make a list in my notebook to count myself accountable. I didn't do it last year. I tried to look for notes from last year and I had none. I don't know why. I know why, because I don't prepare for this. Just just to keep it also just to be surprised as well together with you. But oh look, I only needed clucky support once <laughs> throughout this process. It wasn't as bad. It wasn't as bad. It's a lot of bags and a lot of projects, but I wanna finish most of them and blankets don't count. Okay, we will still count them in that final final number, but you know. Blankets are not urgent. They are long-term whips and you don't need to stress about them. But not that you would need to stress about any other any other knits. That's why I, I, I don't test knit at the moment because too much stress. <laughs> Those are the only knits you're allowed to stress about. And still, no. <laughs> 
Uh, yes. Okay, Clucky, what do you think? Too many? Bok, bok. Clucky says just fine, just fine. We don't judge here. How many ribs do you have? Are you a monogamous knitter? I'm definitely not. <laughs> I've tried. It's not my it's not my thing. I get bored. And I just cast on new things and I rip things out and sometimes I finish, sometimes I don't, and that's okay. So I hope you enjoyed this and I'm on a winter holiday with the kids. <laughs> and the next regular episode will be next week. This week there won't be one, and that's why I recorded this whip special for you number three already yes there are two more to see if you would like to if you would like to go back and watch them and you will see some of these some of these there two years ago i already had them on my needles and they are still not done and it's fine i can live with it okay clucky we will say our goodbyes now and we will see you next week with the regular episode and if you know your whip count, let me know. <laughs> let me know. Yes, what's your whip count? We have a lot and we will be working on them. Yes? Yes. Okay. Stay safe, stay warm, knit a lot and heippa. Bok bok.